Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mary. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back to another video, thanks so much for coming back. Today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade bagel. This recipe makes about eight bagels. I'm doubling the recipe because my family loves these. This recipe is for a single batch though. We're going to start by adding in our water. Next we're going to add in our yeast, our white sugar, Now we're gonna add in our flour. In the ingredients it says to use bread flour or high gluten flour. I actually forgot when I was making this last batch and used all purpose flour and they came out fine. So if that's all you have, just use that. You're also gonna add in your salt. And then I'm gonna add in more flour. So it'll come out to about five cups that I'm mixing in at this point. Let that mix for about two minutes and then you're gonna to look to see if it needs more flour. Now we're going to take a look at our dough. I already know I'm going to need more flour, but looking at your dough, you can see that it's really loose. So I'm going to add in about two more cups of flour until it starts pulling away from the bowl. Now I'm going to let this mix for about five to eight minutes. As you can see, our dough is ready. Grab a bowl and you're going to want to put some oil on the bottom. We're going to roll our dough all around in that so that it doesn't dry out while it's rising. Now roll your dough all around in the oil and be sure to coat the sides of the bowl as well. You don't want the dough to stick. Now lay a damp cloth over the bowl. I like using these tea towels from Walmart. I get them on clearance after the season's over for like 50 cents. If you don't have that, then just use plastic wrap. That'll work fine. It's been about an hour and our dough has doubled in size. Just flip your bowl onto the table and now we're gonna cut our pieces out. When it comes to cutting dough, I typically cut it in half. From there, I cut those in half and it just goes down until all of the dough is cut. If you're looking to make even pieces, you can always use a scale to measure out your dough. Now it's time to form our balls. I like to smooth the top of the dough in between my fingers. I then push the dough ball up through my hand and I squeeze it through my palm on the bottom. Then you can shape the circle in your hand or on the table. If you're gonna use the table, I suggest you do not use any flour because this will prevent it from sticking to the table. That's what helps give it its shape. You can either use a piece of parchment paper or lay it on a tray. You're going to be boiling these before we put them in the oven, so it does not need to be ready to go in the oven at this point. On this next one, I purposely took extra to show you what to do. I like to measure in my hand, and then any excess I'll squeeze off and pull off the bottom. If only it went this fast when you were actually doing it. Once they're all rolled out, cover them with a damp towel for 10 minutes. I'll put a pot of hot water on the stove because we're going to get ready to boil these. So now we're going to shape the bagels into their well-known circle with the hole in the middle. Grab some flour and you're just going to get your fingertips a little bit dusty with the flour. Now grab some dough and you're just going to poke right down the center. Use your thumb and you're going to push it underneath and kind of fold it underneath. It, I think it works great doing this. It sticks. Now one tip is even if you think that the hole is really big, it's going to shrink when it bakes. You'll see my before and afters of what I mean. Crack an egg into a bowl and mix it up. You can grab whatever toppings that you're going to be using. I'm using sesame seeds and everything bagel mix. Now that our water is boiling, we are ready to add our bagels in. You're going to just put them in and let them cook for about a minute on each side. If you prefer a chewier bagel, you can leave them in a little bit longer and this will make them chewier. Now 
When they're ready to come out, just hover over the water a little bit and let it drain, and then put on a sheet pan. I like to line mine with parchment paper. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to brush the egg on. Be sure to get the inside of the ring as well. This is going to help our seeds stick to our bagel. Now add your toppings. I like to use sesame seeds and everything bagel mix. You're going to bake these for 20 minutes. I like to turn mine halfway through at the 10 minute mark. These have been baking for 10 minutes now. They are done and man, do they smell amazing. They are so good guys. Now you can see what I mean by the holes close up in the center. You saw how large mine were, but look how much they close up. So be sure you make them large enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to know if you make these at home. Also, I'd love to know, how do you say bagel? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Bye.